Hey, so this is video 9 of Div 4. Um, we left off right here last time. And I'll just pick up from right here. Um, all this that we wrote right there, I'm going to show you what it actually does. Um, go ahead and do a breakpoint right there, run the program, and then come back into the code and click watch down here in the uh, the error list. Click watch instead. And, um, and then say login, display JV, select a date, click our temp temporary button, should break right here, and we can type in tokens, and then uh, we can watch these tokens as it uh, does what we want it to do. So we just press F5, and you see that it took out the parentheses and it gave it a negative symbol instead of the um, parentheses that it, the accounting uh, number was pretty much uh, being used for. Um, still has this blank space right here and it has a thousand. If we go to the next one, it has four thousand, two blank spaces, and then once we change it, changes this to a negative. Um, but see there's still the period and we need to get rid of that. So we go in to stop debugging, and we'll fix that right here. Um, let's say uh, tokens index equals, and it's going to be about the same thing, um, but this time it's just going to re be replacing a, a decimal with a uh, with nothing. So tokens index dot replace uh, period comma nothing. And then also, um, we want to also take out any uh, white space trailing or leading white space, just in case. So, uh, dot uh, trim. Okay. And then uh, we're done with that. If we checked it out now, let's see what it does now. If we say login, display JV, 15 temp. We see it did negative two seven five zero zero eight. I think that's right. Um, should be two nine 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 two. That's right. Should be taking out the decimal right there. Yep. And so it looks like it did good. Double check it one more time with that first one. Yep. Good. Okay, so now what we want to do, so we have that working, now we want to add it to the uh, that line um, so it shows up right here as an entry into the journal voucher. So we go in here, take out the breakpoint, and uh, this is all done, this for each statement is finished. So we're going to go uh, to the bottom of this next statement, say 10 syntax uh, plus equal uh, ENT star uh, plus tokens uh, first thing we want is the money so the money is always going to be the last um, index in the array so if we just say uh, tokens um, tokens dot length minus one which would be the last index in the in the array um, plus star uh, plus tokens zero which is the first index in the array which is always the ledger ID which is what we want um, then you come down you say uh, ledger sum plus equal tokens zero which is the ledger ID we're going to add that to the ledger sum and then uh, send text uh, plus equal V B C R L F for a new line and then lines plus equal one and then uh, now you're done with this for each statement as well um, and then we can go ahead and say uh, we're going to check it out if you want first yeah we're going to check it out sure see login 
Display JV uh, oops, messed it up. Maybe we can fix that in a second too. Um let's see first just run it real quick. Login ID, display JV, temp, um, send text. Actually it'll show us a message. Nope, it won't show us a message. Forgot. Uh, let's go ahead and have it set up to return send text. Oops, we're still running. Stop debugging. And then go ahead and set it up so it says return send text. Now let's run it. No debugging. We don't or no uh, breakpoints. Um, choose that. And this is looking pretty good. We're almost done, but uh, yeah, it looks perfect so far, except for the bottom. We need to set up the bottom to uh, say this right here, the check uh, JVE line. So as long as we do that, then we should be good to go with this. So um, let's see, so it would be send text plus equal JVE star plus lines dot to string plus star uh, plus the ledger sum, which is the second check. Um, and that should be it. Should work pretty well. Um, we can actually check it out real quick if you want. Just double check. Uh, teen temp. And if you add those up, add these three up, it should come up with 10,030 you add if you count these lines it should say one two three four five perfect um, looks good it will actually be six lines total but you don't count the JVE line um, so there you go okay uh, let's see here um, that's why we don't say lines plus plus right here or anything uh, um, plus it would do nothing right here anyway at this point. So let's see here. Uh, this point we can actually go ahead and fix that one error we had where it was a blank uh, selected item. So how about if uh, So used to C sharp. Here. So basically, we're just going to add that right there. And just return that. So now, let's say that we didn't know any better and we didn't select any date must select a journal date, so that's a little better. And now if we select a journal date, it'll tell us. Um, go ahead and exit out of that. So just make sure you add that right there, that'll fix that little error. Um, now let's go ahead and take out this temporary button, we don't need that anymore. And go ahead and make this work the way it was supposed to work. Uh, something something uh, supposed to be right in here so uh, just say uh, right there this is in the um, BTN ledger engine click so get journal string and that'll get what we want and that really makes this all up here kinda not needed but you can kinda just keep all that just for fun I guess um, now, come up here, say login ID, select a journal date, and send to Ledger Engine. If we do that, it'll say, do you want to send this via HTTP? Uh, just double check that it looks like what you want it to look like, and um, uh, you could say yes if you wanted to, but you know, just make sure it looks like what you want. and. Uh, 
then you're going to want to go ahead and go to that web page with all the enterprise IDs get your enterprise ID copy it and paste it right here as the enterprise ID um, so you're going to change it to whatever yours is and then you can um, go ahead and and just make sure that it's double check that the tables are what you want and everything's good to go um, and then you're going to actually take this comment out and so the, now it's instead of doing the data echoer it's actually doing this right here it's doing this this one okay so this will be green now and this will be black and then you're going to say run login ID or login uh, display JV 615 you're going to click this I already did this for myself and I don't want to mess up mine but you're going to click this and you're going to say yes and agree to everything and then it will uh, give you a response errors if you have errors or whatever you have should be fine if you followed the my video right uh, past couple videos for this um, it will come up right here you can actually go to this web page the ledger engine the last 25 or the last uh, 200 either one and um, should come up and it should look like mine it should be just like that and you're going to want to do that whatever one you chose to do it for whichever date um, you're going to do it for the other two so you run this and you're going to go in here say 615 send to ledger engine it should work Six, then select 614 send to the ledger engine then you say 613 send to ledger engine or whatever dates you chose just send all of your dates and then you can double check it on the on this ledger engine and um, once you do that once it says you know see how I have three that came up you know perfect once you come up with your three journals whoops that came up perfect you will want to go ahead and go over here to uh, the ledger engine page list uh, all enterprise trial balances and yours should be up at the very top it should be um, it'll show your date this is actually my ID this is my business name and uh, this is my trial balance and that's exactly what I put it's my three journals put together and if you went to list all journals for selected enterprises, if I typed in mine, it'll come up with my three journals that I put in. My 15th, my 14th, and my 13th. And it's exactly what I looked like uh, in the program. Exactly what it looks like. Um, so, yeah, that's the Ledger Engine. That's all there is to it. That's that. Let's see. Uh, yeah, just double check and make sure it's all good. And I already did that and uh, yep good 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 so it looks good um, yeah, at that point uh, you're done with the entire ledger engine and uh, the next things we're going to do next thing yeah, next couple of things I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to polish the project the entire project I'm going to help you with uh, a little polish here and there and uh make it a little a little better um there is a requirement that says to uh to add um something past what the previous semester did and so and that's going to be actually 5 points out of the 20 points I think so we're going to have to go ahead and uh, add a little something special to our program to make it um, get those five points. So it'll just be something unique that the previous semester didn't do. All right. See you in the next video.